Hello and welcome to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to expand upon my previous video where I talked about going outdoors and using mobile devices to learn. And I'm going to look at how we can work with Microsoft Teams on an iOS device. Whether it's an iPad or whether it's an iPhone, we're going to be able to go out and do some pretty cool things with that mobile device. We're going to be able to present photos, we're going to be able to present PowerPoint slides, we're going to be able to present videos, and we're even going to be able to share our screen. Although that is a feature that doesn't work as well as I would like at this point, so I probably wouldn't do the screen sharing in my classroom yet. Anyhow, if this video is useful to you, I hope you'll hit like and I hope you'll consider subscribing for more tips like this. There's some fun things that we can do here. We can have students go out and do scavenger hunts. We can have them go outside and provide photos and videos of the things in the natural world. There are so many possibilities and if you're not in a classroom, if you're actually using Microsoft Teams in a business setting, this is a great way for you to share things like uh, how to work on a particular piece of equipment or if you have something that's broken on site, you can actually show that to somebody in a Teams meeting without ha them having to come all the way down to see it. So it's really good for things like construction companies or insurance brokers. There's a lot of major uses that you can get out of this mobility of working in Teams. Let's go have a look. I've started a meeting and I'm in, on my iOS device. In this case, I'm on an iPad. So you can see my iPad here mirrored to my screen. And in the background, you can see that I've started a meeting called Mason Bees. And the idea behind this meeting is that I'm going to go in on my iPad, which is in uh, landscape mode. I've just moved it into portrait mode. And you can see that the video when I join the meeting is me talking. So I'm, I'm there talking in the backyard. And up at the top here, I can click and mute my background so I can blur the background and that sort of gets rid of any distractions that might be around me outside. However, if I'm out in nature, a lot of times I just prefer to have that on uh, or not have the background blurred out so I can make it so it's nice in the background. It's up to me. And then I can join the meeting. So I just click the join now button and it'll connect up to the meeting. And when it connects up to the meeting, you'll see everybody there in the meeting and you'll see that I'm now in both locations. So you can see me in the meeting as other participants would see me and you can see me on my iPad as I would see me. And down at the bottom, you'll see a menu. I can go in and I can use my stylus actually to go in and write something into the chat window. So once you hit the chat, you can go in. The nice thing about the stylus, of course, is that I can use handwriting in iOS 14 and I can just go in and it even recognizes my crazy handwriting, turns it into text, and I can now share that with the rest of the folks in the meeting. I can just pop back into the meeting and you can see that I'm back in the meeting. Now, a lot of other options I have is I can see the other participants in the meeting. I can mute them all. If I have team room set up, I can set that up. But uh, right here, I can see all the participants. I can go and make a participant a presenter. I can pin them so that they take center stage and I can even remove them from a meeting or view their profile. To go back in the meeting, I just hit the uh, video there and it'll go right back into the meeting here. I can see that I've pinned Bruce Wayne. So he will take the center stage and if I click the video, it goes back to the meeting. I can make anybody a presenter just by pressing on their image, holding it down, making them a presenter and pinning them. So now we can see that I can move between participants. I can also mute my own video and I can even put it to the rear facing camera. So let's say I want to show you something like my little bee house here. So I can show you my little bee house. I can do a demonstration. And this is really handy on a mobile device to take the classroom outside, whether it's my backyard connected through my Wi-Fi network or whether it's uh, even in the local parks uh, connected through my cellular carrier and my data network. So you can see that I can show things, I can move around. I can switch the camera, front, back, I can pin myself, and I can raise my hand if I want to get attention. You see a little hand appears in the corner there, and everybody will see through a little red dot that my hand was there. I can go in and do some other things. I can put myself on hold, for example, and that means I'll now be on hold and disappear from the meeting. So if there's an incoming call that I need to accept, I can put myself on hold and everybody else can continue until I'm off hold and I come back to the meeting. So you can see here I am again and I've got my front facing camera going. I can do a couple cool things like do a PowerPoint presentation or I can share out my screen. Here I'm gonna go through and share a photo. So it goes to the camera 
and then I take the photo, so you'll see the button at the bottom, and then I can start presenting it and the rest of the class will see the photo. Maybe I talk about the photo, talk about it. I'm moving around the backyard now, but you won't see it because I'm just talking about the photo. I can stop presenting and let's say I want to do a demonstration, maybe show you how to put the Mason V tubes in there. I can now share a video. So I share a video, I start presenting, so I'm sharing the video. I can start presenting and now I'm sharing out a video and the rest of the class sees my video. So I move around and I've got the video going. So you see it's pretty handy. It's really, really quite good if you're an insurance broker or someone. You can also share the screen. Now this is something I don't actually think is, is mature enough right now. But if I go to share my screen on my iOS device, what will happen is it'll broadcast out to the team and the rest of the team will then see the screen of my iOS device. But what I have found personally is that it's a little bit slow. So because it's so slow, it, it's really not an effective tool in my opinion at this point. And when I was doing this demonstration, I was connected up with a pretty fast wireless network. So even here I go in and I'm, you know, I'm writing using my stylus and I'm writing a little bit faster than you're seeing here. The biggest problem that I have with sharing out the screen is that not only is it a little bit slow, but sometimes it just absolutely freezes. And so my, the rest of my participants will not see anything. So right now, this is the meeting on my computer. This is what the participants are seeing. You can see I'm down there at the bottom. I've got the Arthur Curry, which is Aquaman test. And actually this particular meeting, I've, the other participants have left. So here we're back to the full meeting with everybody. And you can see that I can now go in and do some other things. Now, when you press down on the ellipse, you can start recording, live captions, again on hold. I can put a dial pad. So if I want to take or place a, call, a phone call, I can use the dial pad to do that. I can blur, there's a dial pad here, so I can uh, place a phone call on my iOS device. Obviously a little bit more applicable to a phone than an iPad. I can then blur my video background here again, um, and I can also hide incoming video. This is good if I have bandwidth considerations. I might want to hide the incoming video so I'm not getting all these video feeds coming in. But in my case, I'm fairly fast network, so I'll put the video feeds back on. Cool thing I can do is change the layout. So I can go into together mode. So when I go into together mode, you'll actually see that it's showing my beehive house. So I want to change the video. So I have the front facing camera. So I change it to the front facing camera and now I can join all the other video feeds. And although they look static, these are actually videos, but the, they're, they're action figures. So of course it's static. So back to the meeting here. So you can see that there's a lot of ways that I can participate in a meeting, even though I'm on an iOS device. Well, I hope that was useful, and if it was, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and share it with your colleagues. This is a great tool that we can use in many different industries, and I hope you'll consider learning no matter where you are and participating in Teams meetings using your iOS devices.